Now then, this issue, how long has it been going on? Two days. Oh, so very, very rapidly then. Yes, we, on uh, Sunday, she was sitting, we have two dogs, and they like to bolt out the back door when we open to the garden. And she got up normally, and then just suddenly pulled up, yelped, she just didn't want to move. She seemed to just want to lay down, and she was struggling to stand. Like she just couldn't get her hind under her. So we took her to the after hours vet service, they examined her gave her some pain medication, and said to see our vet the next day, which we did. That was yesterday. Okay. All right. Good. We'll have to do a physical examination now, Sandy. We'll have a little look at what's happening. Yeah. Okay, I'll just get somebody to help me. Now, no issues with the front legs, is that correct? No, it's, it's all strictly in, like, when she, when it first happened, you know, we checked her over, wondering if she'd maybe cut herself or, you know, pulled a nail or we didn't know what. So you could touch her all over. But it was interesting, it was just the way she sucked up her stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Up and uh, yeah. rounded her back. And she definitely finds it uncomfortable. Rather than sit, she'll just lay down. And uh, she doesn't squat fully. Hold tight. Pee, so. oh, it's okay, baby. Oh. Good girl, This is gonna hurt. Oh. I know. Okay, so you got a problem right down here yeah. in the lower back. That's I'm gonna right. do it one more time. Oh. One more time. Okay, I'm gonna do a sciatic nerve right leg. I'm gonna do a sciatic nerve left leg. Nearly done. Yep, all right, back off. All right, Bunny, good girl. All right, good, good, well done. Thank you, Jason. So, you got a problem in the lower back here? Yeah. Uh, I have this exact same problem, so I can totally empathize. Have you ever had back pain? I had, when I was pregnant, I had sciatica. Right, okay, so you know what it feels like. Yeah. All right, I have that. Uh, many people have. Half the human population over the age of 40 have it. Somebody, something. Dogs, uh, very, very common as well. I will see it almost on a daily basis. Okay. There's two common causes, disc problems and tumors, but tumors are, are very unlikely right. in this situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, very unlikely. So I, I'm mentioning that because I have to, but it's extremely unlikely okay. in this case. Mm -hmm. In terms of disc problems, very, very common. Really? Very common. Okay. So the disc, it, that's your disc, mate, there. That is your disc. Now it's plastic. Mm -hmm. So if we were to look on the real dog, it's there. Yeah. That's what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So the disc I was palpating just then is this one here. So right at the end. Just here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So where that red thing is bulging is exactly where the disc is bulging. Okay. Okay. Now, what happens is that this doesn't happen suddenly. The signs happen suddenly. For example, when it happened to me, I simply sneezed. Mm -hmm. And my disc it allegedly slipped. But as this doesn't slip. That's a misnomer. It bulges. It bulges, exactly right. Or it leaks. Mm -hmm. A disc is like a jam donut. So the fi it's a fibrous outer ring and a pulpy inner center. And it either bulges or it pops. Yeah. So in this particular case, what's almost certainly happening is that the disc which should look like this mm -hmm. okay and the nerves come out here to form a sciatic nerve that becomes more like this with a bulging disc here right and the body's response to that bulging disc because this is unstable mm -hmm. is to produce new bone here oh. that's called spondylosis yeah. and also to inflame that facet there okay so what uh, happens here is that new bone gets produced here mm -hmm. and squashes the nerve and the facet gets inflamed here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens in real life then is that this inflammation of the facet and this new bone here and the disc bulge all squash the nerve. Right. And an x-ray will show you the new bone but it won't show you the disc. Mm -hmm. A CT scan 
will show you a bit of both, but an MRI scan is the very best for looking at this region, so that's what you need today. Okay. So you need an MRI scan which will show us what's happening with the discs mm -hmm. and then what the situation is with regard to this particular disc. Okay. If the disc is bulging and if it's producing compression because of disc bulge, new bone and facet inflammation, then you'll have to consider decompressing it. There's several kinds of surgeries. Surgery is a last resort. Okay. You only do that if you absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. If there's no possibility of, reco of recovery with medical management, there's two kinds of medical management. One is oral meds. The other is an injection into the site with some steroid. And that's reducing inflammation? Yep. So it won't address the bone? Correct. Yeah. Exactly right. So what we do depends entirely on what we see. And then there's rehabilitation, physiotherapy, mm -hmm. and various modalities like shockwave and laser mm -hmm. that can have a significant impact here on this right. in certain scenarios. But everything hinges on the MRI and the combination of the clinical science and the MRI. Right. So first things, first things first, we're going to do the MRI. Okay. And then we'll decide what is and isn't necessary. With regard to surgery, there's lots of different options. So I'm not going to go into that right now. Uh, until we see what we have on the MRI because at the end of the day surgery is a last resort. Okay. And then if, if we do need to go uh, into surgery, uh, for example, if we had to replace that disc, um, it's possible that, uh, that's theoretically possible that we, you know, that we might have to do that, rep physically replace the disc. And if we had to do that, uh, this is what that would look like. You would go in and you would take the roof off and then you would pull the nerves to one side and you would put a bolt down the top here which would spread those two vertebrae apart mm -hmm. and then s produce decreased compression on the nerve. Okay. Okay? But I'm not going to go into that yet because that may not be necessary. Sure. Okay? okay? Yeah. So first things first, MRI. Any questions at this point? Nope. Good. Fine.